Welcome back Synthwavers, Alonzo here from SynthwaveDojo.com. Today we have an exciting tutorial for Synthwave producers and synthesizer enthusiasts out there. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to create an awesome brass patch using the great synth Taoyuno LX. Let's do it. Before we begin, make sure you have your Taoyuno on the default patch. Oh, and before I forget, you can download the patch we'll be making today by going to synthwavedojo.com slash downloads and searching for the Synthwave Dojo Tao Uno LX sound bank. It's completely free. Let's first deactivate the sub, set the maximum polyphony to 12, and here in the VCA section, let's set the toggle to envelope this always trips me up when I'm creating patches starting on the default. Our patch is based on a sawtooth wave. So here on the DCO section, we're going to leave things as they are. Now let's head over to the ADSR section. Here's how our patch sounds currently. Okay, typical sawtooth wave. I don't want the sound to have any sustain. Whatever length the note has, I want it to come from the decay and the release. So I'm going to bring the decay to around halfway. And I'm going to bring the decay also to around halfway. And this is how it now sounds. Okay, if I keep pressing on the key, the sound naturally dies out. That's exactly how I want it. And if I very quickly press and release, we get the same effect. The decay is going to control the length of the note, not the sustain. Okay, for now, we're going to leave the ADSR section as it is, but we'll come back and tweak the attack and the decay once we work on the filter a little bit. Great, so let's head over to the VCF section. Here, I'm going to bring the filter cutoff to around halfway. And then I'm going to bring the envelope amount to about halfway too. This is how it sounds now. Okay, I want the frequency to start in a darker spot. Or darker than where, where it currently is. So I'm going to bring it down to around 25%. Hear the difference. Okay, so we're going to start from here. And then, regarding the envelope amount, I don't want the uh, too much of the brightness to come through like this. That's too much here. It's too dark. Right there, it sounds cool. Now that we have our filter set up the way that we wanted, let's go back and tweak the attack and the decay. For this brass patch, I want the attack and the decay to sound like the horn of a sax or of a trumpet. I don't want the sound to be immediate. So I'm looking for a certain uh, womp or a certain horn sound. So I'm not going to look at the at the values here in the um, that I can see on this screen while I move or adjust these controls. I'm just going to tune it by ear. So the first thing is that the attack, I don't want it to be immediate and I don't want it to be too slow. For example, here, it's too immediate. And here, it's too slow. So... I'm going to start increasing the attack until I get to a point where I feel is right for what I'm going for. Right there, it starts to sound like a trumpet or a trumpety quality, as I like to call it. It could be slower, but then that would be useful for slower melodic lines or for slower music if you will something more up tempo or where you want to play quicker notes 
It would be better to have the attack a little quicker, like this. Now let's adjust the decay and give it the, the wump or the, the body of the trumpet that I'm looking for, the horn. Check this out. Right there, we don't have any body or any horn. And here, neither, right? So I'm going to increase the decay. Right there, it's nice. Here's a very short horn. Right there, it's nice. Great. Now, I want to give it a little bit more of release so the notes don't die out as soon as I, well, release my finger from the keys. Okay. Next up, we're going to engage our miracle worker, the magic maker. Yeah, I'm talking about the chorus, and in this case, type 1. So we're going to go from this to this. Awesome. This really makes the sound come alive. But we're not going to stop here. I want to give this sound just a little bit more movement and a little bit more of a... Um, of a horn character or a brass character and I'm gonna I want to give the sound just a little bit of vibrato so for that we're gonna head over here to the DCO section I'm going to increase this LFO control all the way up just so I can hear the effect at its extreme of course that's horrible then I'm gonna come down here to the LFO section and I'm going to tweak a few parameters. Regarding the trigger mode, I don't want it to be synced nor free. I want the LFO to start every time I hit a key. Then, in terms of the rate, um, I don't want it too fast nor too slow. Too fast. Too slow. Probably there. Cool. I don't want the vibrato to come on immediately after I strike a key. I want it to, to come on just a little bit behind a key press. So here, it's immediate. And here, it's taking too long. So probably, here it's nice. Now, let's go back to the LFO amount and tweak it further. I'm going to bring it all the way down. Then press a key and tweak by ear. No vibrato there. Too much. Right there. Maybe still a little too much. Right there, very cool. And to wrap this up, let's add some delay and reverb. I'm going to set the wet control to about halfway. Remember to sync this to a particular subdivision if, while working on a track. Let's give it some spread. A little bit of feedback. Let's give it some reverb. Very 
nice. Very, very cool. You know it's coming. You know it. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. You've just learned how to create an awesome brass patch using Tau You Know LX. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and inspiring. Remember to visit synthwavedojo.com slash downloads to get your awesome free Tau You Know LX sound bank. Until next time, keep synth waving.